Charge match coming up. DJ versus Balrog. Your destiny will be determined. Let's get started. Wow, early, early establishment, bro. Just going to town. Oh, now he throws him right back. And Punch is really comfortable here, just playing some neutral, like, just getting the best of walking him down to the corner and got the most of the damage early in the round. Very smart. Nice confirmation. And that is the Javits tech, the jump and roundhouse, the safe oh. jump setup. Well, safe uh, pressure setup. Mm -hmm. A lot of tech is Javits tech. It's gonna need a lot out of this situation. Yeah. That's the thing about DJ, it's really hard to like meet, like you get mauled for like the first like 30 seconds and then you're just trying to recover this bad scenario. Now see, what he does not have is any kind of life lead, but what he did have was incredible positioning. But he felt the pressure. He felt like I have to go in, I have to make something happen. I don't know about that choice, there were still 44 seconds left on the clock. To just chuck fireballs right. and be patient. Exactly, and, and you're... Your DJ, you should probably frustrate him rather than, than the opposite, you know, and, and maybe he'll need to uh, make that adjustment in this round. Exactly, and, and that's what it takes sometimes. You have to lose a round in order to gain a better gauge on the opponent. Oh, that neutral focus can be very risky against Ball Rob. So many focus breakers. Cross up gets him out of the corner. Now he's in that position again. Before, he went for the cross up. He tried to force damage. Oh, and he just. It's like a mess right now. You're, you're sitting on full resources, but you gotta make it happen. Okay, dash up, focus, that's not safe. Oh, throwing them right in his face. Good he recovery on those. Yeah, he has the ultra. Oh, and oh, the there's the cross up into the corner. Let it go, he felt the pressure. He's, he still had the positioning, 52 seconds left, but he felt like, I need to make some damage happen now. It's just like, Bunch just really had complete control. Just getting the best of the damage favor, seriously. It's, it almost felt like it, was, it didn't matter what DJ was doing, he was just taking favorable trades all the time. Now we have uh, Super Saiyan Jin 1, <laughs> DJ. Wow, you're right. <laughs> you are absolutely right. SSDJ1. <laughs> How you doing, folks? Thanks for joining us here at Defend the North. I'm Ski Sonic here with Tenshi. How you doing? This is uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 Team Tournament Action. Yes. And YC Furby is holding down the stream. Shout out to Arturo. Doing all this wonderful work. Shout out to Spooky. He's doing even more work. Yeah. He as always, more. like, when when is Spooky not doing work, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like he's on the floor with all that madness going on. Like, I'm over in the corner chilling. Oh. <laughs> all right, Fleming up against we go, we, uh, a bunch. We go forward. Bunch. <laughs> and that's a slightly different pace here. Looks like this DJ is just going him on offense. Changing it up. Saw what didn't work before, so he's trying something else. That's the advantage of having three DJs on one team. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta finish well, this combo. Well, the style isn't working. Though. Let's try this style. Oh, and he looked like he wanted to so bad, but got the up kicks. And a lot of people forget that, like in team tournaments, when you have the same character on the team, mm -hmm. if you have two two characters with two different play styles, that can really throw off the other team. Yeah, yeah it can it can change the dynamics quite a bit. Oh, the call out on the up kick. Punish, full damage, has him in the corner. Well, let's see how Blunch deals with uh, all the positioning that he's gained. Shimmy. Okay, lets him out with the cross up. Didn't manage the uh, positions too perfectly. Just off timing there, but that was the right idea. That was the right idea of how you utilize that space. He was just off uh, a couple of frames and he committed. Might have been able to go for the slide there. Trade, there's a slide. 
No, no respect on the mix up. <laughs> okay, I think he went for the wake up dread kick. Exactly. Knee shot goes in. Knee bazooka. Wow, look at the no damage oh, the on that shot. Confirmed. Okay, well, uh, Balrog does have some anti-airs, but... And just DJ, like, was getting scenarios, but just not getting paid off well. And then Balrog landed one scenario and just got full positioning. Not gonna go. Very patient stuff from, from, from Bunch here. Nice. Not feeling threatened at all by, uh, particularly the low damage output. And yep. couple with that with dropping combos here and there. He was able to just kind of kind of whittle him down, walk him down. That's why it's hard to play TJ. It's just, you know, you're never getting max reward damage. I mean, he let him jump on him with that down light kick, the knee shot, multiple times in the corner. But he didn't even risk the, the crutch fierce or the jump back fierce even to try to hedge. He was, he was comfortable with him putting himself closer and uh, seeding a little bit of frame advantage, and he would eventually find his spot for the crouch light and uh, take it back. And that's just what happened. Yep, that is right. Now we have SS, S -S DJ S -S two. Ah, oh, that's three, man. That's that's three. the one. Uh, yeah, that's, just, that's the one. Three. Two does not even. Two barely exists. I don't know a lot about two Dragon Ball, exists. but I think that like Super Saiyan two only appeared once or twice ever. Anyway, that's why you never see it. I think it was actually only Gohan, if I'm not mistaken. I have not gotten one tweet today, but I bet you somebody's gonna tweet me about yeah, it was actually Gohan or not go on about Gohan uh, tweeted the Dragon Ball. <laughs> Gohan tweeted me like, yes, it was me. I'm the only one to ever achieve Super Saiyan level two. Uh, we'll find out. Anyway, I mean, it doesn't matter if we find out. It's just Sai. It's fine. Good enough. Hi, Sai. Looking to save the day for Team DJ. Things are going rough here. Bunch looking at the clean sweep. And very comfortable, you know, do, doing his job. Like, even if he was to lose the match here, he still took out two of the team members. Yeah, he's done quite a bit of work. Now, Sai's looking a lot more clean. Oh, he got uh, good damage off of that cross up, but the jump roundhouse, he went for a little bit too much. It was like five seconds, he lost like 20%. And it could have been even more. If that was a big jump roundhouse opener. And cross up. He's holding the line now, back to the corner. It just has like a better flow of offense yeah. for, from Sai here. Spacing is a little bit better, and the, the combos have wow. been cleaner as well, more efficient. Sai's not to. Choosing to play this neutral game with DJ. The transition now to the neutral after he's got a comfortable lead and he's eyeballing the charge. Bunch walking forward and shimmying. That means you don't have a charge. I can throw fireballs even more comfortably despite having great uh, re recovery. Opening it up a little bit there. Oh, okay. and he was waiting for it. He was waiting for an animation to react. He's waiting for he's anything. Waiting patiently. And that he even took the throw before it. For it. That, that was a slower one. He accepted, but and I yeah, that is the bunch special. Yes. Whoa. The, yeah, just wait for the reaction with the. Boom. This Got is you. one game, and that is the momentum shift. Huge. Tough to go into the second round as Pi Sai. Let's see what he does. And I know, I know, Pi Sai is definitely not happy with that round. Yeah. Tries to open things up quick. He's got a lot of meter to use. Uses uses a couple. Doesn't get anything out of it. Instead gets hit for it. And just, oh no. Headbutts through. Get out of the fireball. <laughs> Not taking chip. Bunch looks incredibly experienced in this matchup. Not taking any chances that he doesn't have to. Opens himself up to a couple of grabs, but nothing too, nothing too serious. And just avoiding scenarios. Uh, that, that, that's what I see Bunch is trying to do. Just like literally, like not putting himself in bad areas against DJ. Oh, uses the armor. Quarter you get a combo damage. off of that. You're right. Both exactly what he needs. 51 seconds left on the clock for him to just walk back. Oh, but he went for it. And Reactions it's, from Sai. Another it's, chance. He wasn't gonna die off the EX, but you might give up a round. That's not a good look. He doesn't challenge the jump in. No. Uses the EX. Just has enough to get through. And a nice OCV from Ochi Bunch. Clean sweeperoo. Oh man. From